Okay, so the person that you are a caregiver to has an upcoming medical appointment or maybe it's a planned procedure, surgical procedure, or heaven forbid, maybe it is even you know an unplanned emergency room visit that arises. My question for you is how do you communicate with medical professionals and staff so that way to help ensure that your client, your your loved one receives the best care possible and also it kind of is helping the medical staff a little bit too, right? If you're not allowed to go in, this is what we're talking about here today. So, you know, with what's going on in our world, it's very limiting uh, who is allowed to go into different procedures or appointments or even emergency rooms. And so really having a plan in place for effective communication, I think is an absolute must and it's super simple. So I am going to show you what I have done to kind of have a easy solution for this and I'm gonna share it with you, I'm gonna give it to you. My name is Bethany Ratcliffe, if we have not met before, and I have been a family caregiver and professional caregiver for over 18 years. And so what I've noticed is that there is stress, there is burnout, and I've kind of found some ways to navigate around that and to really just kind of celebrate this caregiving journey. And so that's what my intention is here on my page, Caregiver Tribe, and my group, Caregiver Tribe, uh, tools and inspiration that the, that's my intention is to help stressed out caregivers thrive with simple proven tools that are completely free okay that's what I want to do so let's go back to what we we're talking about today and what we can do here. So so this can happen. This scenario can arise where your loved one's going to go to an appointment and you're not allowed to go in. And how does that make you feel, right? How does that make you feel? Maybe they're okay. Maybe they can handle and advocate for themselves. But a lot of the folks that I care for and, and my family members aren't able to really advocate or articulate their needs appropriately. And so where that concern kind of creeps in then, for me anyway, is if they're not able to do that correctly, and the medical staff, let's say that this is a surgical appointment or it's a you know staff turnover at a doctor's office, if they don't know your loved one, my loved one, uh, the person we care give for, then it can leave room for error. And I'm not saying this to put down our medical, um, our medical community whatsoever, not at all. They have a lot going on. And so whatever we can do as caregivers to provide more communication, to lend them a hand, we need to be doing that where we can, right? Would you agree with that? So <clears throat> I created this simple form. It's one page because we want to keep it simple. We want them to be able to see it, to have the main bullet points, the information that they need. And this is great because you can pass this along to them with with your loved one or a person you care give for. Just give it to them to hand off. You can also um, adhere it to them, maybe with a clip or something like that. And so that it's it goes into the appointment with them if you need to, but this takes away too all of the need for your your person to have to worry about like, oh no, I don't remember if I don't remember my medication list or I don't remember when I last ate or drank or I don't I don't remember my allergies. You know, maybe it's too much they have going on. Either they don't feel well or they're going in for surgery, right? They haven't eaten, they're wearing a mask, they're like all disorientated. Uh, so this is gonna help the medical staff to just take a once over look on this and to provide better care for your loved one. The other thing that this is gonna do is for you as the caregiver, it's gonna really help 
to provide some peace of mind because you're gonna know that you did everything possible, communicated everything that normally you would communicate if you were in the room with them. Everything is here, okay? And you might have to make some additions uh, depending on you know various needs and differences, but the bulk of it, I, I bet, is all here. So I'm pretty um, pleased with it and I've actually tried it out, tested it out, and the medical staff were like, wow, that was super, super helpful um, because we were actually gonna do something this way and then we read that and we were like, oh my gosh, that would have caused harm. So, uh, you know, it's a busy place, medical places, and we're all human and uh, things get missed or uh, it's, and it really boils down to that lack of communication. And so with that lack of communication, we can have error, we have frustration. So let's go ahead and work towards eliminating that, helping our medical community, helping your loved one or your client get the best care possible and give you peace of mind. So this sheet has everything and it's uh, in black and uh, red and white. <laughs> and it's one sided, like I said, because we want to keep it super simple. So it's everything from emergency contact, diagnoses, uh, the history, even some baseline, uh, your, your baseline for your vital signs is included in here. And then there's other, other bullet points on the back side of this. So I used a page protector and you can see this was in my client's backpack. So it's a little crumbled up, but on the back side of this is the medication list. So literally your person you care give for can just hand this off and it's all complete. So you have your updated medication list on the back. You've got the bullet points on the front. It's here, it's physical. You can let the medical uh, facility keep it or you know, make up a few of these and you let them and hand them out to people who might need them or, hey, that's your copy, go ahead, have it. They love that stuff. They love, they love to have their own copy of stuff. But this just really cuts down kind of all the confusion and makes it really easy. I would also say that if your loved one does end up needing emergency room care, maybe goes by ambulance, that you would just already have one of these made up that can go right with them handed off to the ambulance uh, person. It just makes life easier for, it makes it easier for them and then that ripples back to your loved one and yourself. So to get this, this is inside of my group, just like all my downloads are, all my free downloads for you are. And the group is linked uh, in the description, but it is Caregiver Tribe tools and inspiration okay and so you go in there and you're going to be looking for the simple medical form and you're going to look for also the medication form you're going to just download those print them out fill them out they're yours to keep and hopefully help you feel a little bit more organized and have a little bit of peace of mind and just keep on keeping on with what you're doing right so um let me know your thoughts on it. I want to hear. All right. Take care.